Today is an off day from rehearsal. No rehearsal. No new moon today. So the number one thing that I really want to do is see The Revenant, starring my man, Leonardo DiCaprio. We share a birthday, by the way. But also need to get a lot of computer work done, emails and stuff like that for uh, my training website. And I also need to do a podcast that I'll be releasing this Wednesday. Upper Bro Radio, the podcast. Make sure you give it a listen to on iTunes. There's a link in the description below. So I enjoyed the movie. It was a two and a half hour movie. I mean, I went to the movie at 3.40 and it's like 6.30 and it's already dark, which winter time, I guess. Um, it was a good movie, long movie, great acting. I need, to di I need to digest a little bit more, I think. My impression is this. The cinematic features and the scope of the movie outweighed the actual story. Does that make sense? The technique was impeccable and uh, the movie making as a whole, the editing, the cinematography was gr fantastic. But the story, although well, very well acted uh, and performed, was not to the weight and grandeur that the actual film was. It was beautiful to watch and it was very intense and it was grandiose. It was a lot of fun to watch it on a big screen. And I gotta say, and I'm a little sad to say it, but I don't think this is gonna be Leo's Oscar winner. I don't think the character and the way it was written is going to be powerful enough for him to take home above other movies that are out right now. But I will say a surprising, powerful, incredible performance was Tom Hardy as Fitzgerald. He was a was fantastic, but his character I think was a little bit better written. If that makes sense. But he had better material to work his magic on. And uh, he is also a great actor, really kind of transformed the way he goes from different voices, affectation. 